guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is game two between Urban and Drea, part of BSL 17 Hasu Lee semifinal. This is the match I believe I'm the most excited about. Urban starting in the upper left hand corner as the blue Zorg, bottom right hand corner we have Jiraiya as the teal Zorg. This is on retro as the map reveal let us discover. One of those times in my commentator brain, I wasn't sure how to continue this, this sentence as the map reveal revealed to us as it let us <laughs> whatever game one Jiraiya able to out macro Urban. I think Urban might have made a critical mistake where he moved in his mutalisk flock picked off three drones and then thought he was in an economic superior position from there and played the game out as though he was and unfortunately Jiraiya still had the economic lead was able to sneak that third hatchery interior to his base and just have smothering macro through the late game. Urban did have an opportunity with a hidden Zergling, but didn't utilize it in time to discover the third hatchery. Nor to discover, nor get a really good look at the drone saturation. Right now, Overlord's heading to the top right. It's cross positions, both directions. Urban saving resources up potentially for a nine. Yeah, this is gonna be a nine hatchery, interestingly enough. Let's see what Jiraiya goes for. He's saving resources as well. It looks like he's going to go for a 12 hatch. This is kind of one of those fun... This will be a fun thing. So the 9 hatch oftentimes plays well against Overpool. Against 12 hatch, it ends up with an economic deficit. But you end up with more Zerglings out earlier. At cross positions, I don't think that's going to end up favoring Urban. And usually when you're going for the 9 hatch play... So oftentimes with 12 hatch, you have a little bit of flexibility, but more often than not, you go for a swarm of Zerglings as far as a follow-up. But on top of that, so basically with the build order here, Jiraiya is going to end up with, if he continues with the Zergling play, which he probably will, he's just going to end up with more Zerglings in a better defensive slot than Urban. It is possible that Urban can somehow out micro, but right now, just as things look on the surface... This is a massive build order advantage for Jiraiya. And I don't mean massive like, oh, he's, it's a definitive win, but massive is in, it's a, it's a solid, if he plays it out and just executes very, very well, which we, which Jiraiya has already proven that he's very, very solid in already, he should be able to, to manage it without too much trouble. So we got Zergling speed upgrading, eight Zerglings, across the board. A secondary problem is on a four player. Oh, we're seeing Lair first from Jiraiya. So we do have Zerglings on delay, but we aren't seeing Zergling speed. That actually could could be a big factor here. Overlord spotted Overlord for Urban on top right in corner. So he knows where to send the Zerglings as well. No Zergling speed yet for Jiraiya. So he's just, and keep in mind Jiraiya, let's see if he recognizes the position so he's sending out a single zergling out in the field Urban being really clever with this so he's pocketing some zerglings outside his main he's leaving his natural expansion somewhat exposed and trying to stay out of vision and transmit as though he's going some other build than he is but oh no the zerglings have already spotted it so jig is up Jiraiya dropping an immediate defensive creep colony here might even want to pull a drone or two. He's down Zerglings right this second. Urban is effectively all in. He's got to win it with what he's got on the ground. Do we have defensive? No, we don't have defensive creep colonies otherwise. Sunk colony is getting swarmed. This is also with speed. Urban trying to breach the ramp. is getting some damage on that sunk colony. The Zerglings expended. So Jiraiya just getting caught by surprise against this build and immediately GGing. Oh, that's rough for Jiraiya. Because honestly, if he had just built... Zerglings to start and scattered it out. I think he would have, but getting caught just a little bit later than he could respond. So Urban takes a game. Well played. Hope you guys enjoyed it. One apiece now, moving into game three. Thanks for listening.